green flag is out in mid-Ohio. Heading down to the keyhole. Very important U-turn on this race, race course. Everyone getting it right so far. Great aerial shot. And look at the lead already for Sindrick. Yeah, I think Elliot Sadler was satisfied there. Just to let Austin Sindrick take off and go. He knows that's the fastest race car here. And just settle in and get a good spot and protect and, and be able to settle into how you want to run this race. Wide back through here, the nine of Reddick, the 18 of Benjamin, they single it out. Yeah, now the technical section here, DJ. Yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. You could, there's places you can run too wide, but they're getting into a part that too wide is going to be very, very difficult. Behind them, that orange car, that's Andy Lally in the 90, trying to make a pass on the 16 of Ryan Reed. Oh. Jones off course. Hemrick takes advantage. Oh, Jones around. Big time trouble for Brandon Jones. They get stacked up and Lally has nowhere to go. The 90 comes to a complete stop and now gets it going again. Trying to see if the 19 of Jones can get it fired. Still under green. And he is going to enjoy the rear of the field. Trying to see if he had a tire down or if it was just a matter that he got off into the grass had that on his tire, and then tried to go a little too hard. So he took one mistake and compounded it into another. Still got grip there, but then right in the middle of the corner. Yeah, he was just trying to not lose another spot after he had made oh. a mistake. Get Lally had to come yeah. to a complete stop. Team Penske, 22, takes the opportunity. He'll dive to pit road. See how quickly they can get their work done and how he rejoins the field, Parker. And guys, there's not been many complaints on the radio from the 22. He says the car is, or well, the call is peachy right now. So whatever that means in terms of their code words on the 22 for Team Penske, obviously been leading, taking care of the rear tires in that car. It's going to be four rear tires and Sunoco Fuel. Maybe their pressure adjustment, but we'll see what peachy means here. Lights are off on the pace car. There's the 22 of Sindrick. He is on the front row along with Matt Tift as they come back to green at Mid-Ohio. There's Cole Custer again right there behind Sindrick. Boy, that's tight. Boy, another great restart for Cole Custer. But Matt Tift, it looks like we're going to hang on to that second spot right now. Position two goes to the two. Oh, they're three wide. Yeah, or four. Way down on the bottom, Jeremy Clements in the blue and white 51. He's going to get the advantage over the other three. And Justin Allgaier is off and in the grass. Allgaier, the stage one winner, the big loser right there. Yeah, he looked like he might be a big winner. And you can put four cars out there wide. You can't race them that way, though. Catching his breath now. And Justin Allgaier all the way back to 19th. See how this got started, Dale. Coming off of the first corner, down to turn two. Yeah, you can see Justin Allgaier just saw an opportunity to get there, but there just wasn't room uh, at that point in time. But that's what this racing is about. How aggressive do you want to be? Justin Marks in the yellow 42. The white 18 was Kyle Benjamin. And way down to the inside, we mentioned that Clemens got through clean in the 51. Here comes Custer back. And it looks like he might have made contact with Hemrick. Now they single out, and Tyler Reddick looked for a place there, but had to drop back in line. Stuck on the outside is Justin Marks. Uh, we've got a car spinning. Right behind, top of five. It is Chase Briscoe, and the back end torn off of that Mustang. See what happened to Chase Briscoe on the last lap. Yes, if there was any contact or if just got... Yeah, there's... A lot happening back in there. And then it gets hit from behind. Yep. Two cars got bottled up. He was trying to save his car. Ooh, that's where the side yeah. got ripped off. The rear bumper cover, anyway. Got a lot of damage to the right front of someone. Hard to see from here. 
Benjamin on the inside. That is the That'd be the five of Annette. 23 of Gallagher on the outside. Yeah. Here goes Briscoe around. Oh, it was the eight of Cody Ware that got into Briscoe. This just happened. Brandon Jones often in the grass. Final lap of stage two. Austin, Sin Austin Sindrick with things well in hand. Hemrick's 21 car showing the aggression that can be happening on a road course like they're on today. He's been in the midst of three and sometimes four wide already. Yeah. Christopher Bell there in that third spot. Old Custer wanting to take it away here on this final lap, but uh, really good job by Christopher Bell. Custer's car hanging in and coming around at the end. Yeah, yeah, he's done a really good job of taking care of his tires throughout this. And now he's able to make some good moves. See if he's going to try to make this happen. Now I thought better of that. You've worked hard through this. There's no sense in giving it all away. But it's worth a stage point if he can get around Christopher. Yeah, but the, the points really, I, I mean, even though he's still in the battle for that regular season championship. So, yes, you can say that every point matters. Get these three. All young and upcoming in the series. They all be mistake free through the final four corners. Yeah, you're certainly looking at names of the future. Uh, a couple of them, if not all three of them, won't be in this series a whole lot longer because they're going to move on to bigger and better things. How about the guy at the point? Austin Sidrick comes to the green and white checkers and wins his first stage of 2018. Yes, they do have to pit again. They're basically saving their last set of tires for maybe a late caution. Both those cars owned by Mario Gosselin just spoke to him and said they wanted to see if they could save those tires for later. Oh, as Alex Bay goes off. The 36 and the 90 teammates. Here comes a 21 to the inside. That's Hemrick making a dive on Custer. And off track is Ryan Reed. Can he get it through the grass and save it? Yes, keeps it out of the barrier. And he'll be able to motor back on. Well, that's a shame. He just made a good pass. He was very patient in, in making that pass to get to the second spot. Just carried a little too much speed into turn two. Very easy to do. Catherine Legg is off in the 15 car. Yeah, and she's done a really good job. Oh, huh. straight off. She was 19th, Dale. Yeah, just got in there a little bit hot. And once it started to wheel hop, then there's nothing to do but let off the brake at that point in time, kick the clutch in, and but you've got no way of slowing the car down uh, at that point. And so just had to miss the corner. The in-race analyst, Brendan Gaughan, is off track and finds his way back on. See some damage on the left front there. Not sure if that was what created getting off, uh, getting trying to make a pass. More cars around on the racetrack. Andy Lally coming out of the final corner has been spun in the 90. He'd been racing really hard. He had Justin Allgaier right behind him. Along with Cole Custer. I don't know if there was contact to create that for Andy Lally. That right rear fender has the same look that Cole Custer's had earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. Here's Brendan heading down into turn four. That might have been a little contact. What do you think, DJ? Very fun. Trying not to get stuck in the sand trap. Gone was 11th. He drove his way back out now and is currently listed in 21st. That's just how quickly things can change on a road course. Yeah, we talk about uh, how things can change quickly. Andy Lally getting some help in the back end there from first Matt Tift and then the nine of Tyler Reddick. Yeah, these drivers racing hard for every position. We're inside 20 to go now. Remember, Lally had been on older tires, and those other drivers are racing for the championship. I'm sure they want it by. There's still oh! a chance that Matt Tip can be a player as he works on Tyler Reddick right here, and Allgaier is going around. Double zero of Custer and Justin Allgaier. Finally, it happened. And Custer wanted by, and Allgaier was the victim. Custer was definitely faster, DJ. Oh, there's no doubt, and this is exactly what we expect inside these last 20 laps. You can see right here, Justin Allgaier gets outside. Uh, the line just a little bit. Cole Custer tries to take that spot. Allgaier brings it back across uh, on the nose, so contact. Oh, and the right rear tire is gone on the nine. And that's going to bring out a caution. You see all the debris plus more. Oh, wow. Careful now. Hang on, Tyler. Look out, Justin. Justin Marks gets by, and the field will come through. 
we'll go back and take a look at how all of this first started right here. So the the spin comes right in front of them. See Matt Tiff not able to slow down quite as much. Gets into the right rear. Ready? So that uh, creates all of this situation. You see it didn't take long for this tire to go. It was just wrongly bent for Reddick, where it had been rightly bent for Custer and yeah, whoa. at least one other car. And that was really close there for Matt Tiff, too. He has a lot of damage to the left front of his car. Trying to outleg the seven, and Allgaier's not going away. No, he's getting closer. Justin Allgaier pursuing Austin Sindrick for the win. Here comes Henrik with his tires. Oh, first time that he's really felt any pressure all day long. What will the 19-year-old do with it? Here comes the veteran Allgaier. Allgaier looks to the inside. He looks to the outside. Going to get a little bumper right here. through the technical section. Allgaier trying to stay right there until he gets to a passing zone. Justin Allgaier would like to make this happen sooner than later. He knows that uh, Daniel Hamburg also has tires and could get there quickly if he's not careful. So he's going to want to make this happen. Is he going to use the front bumper to make that happen? Hamburg is through to third. You saw that. Parker. Guys, I think he has to use the bumper here, maybe down to turn 12, as we've seen in the past. If not, then he's going to have to get that run out of turn one down into turn two. That's really your last passing zone before the last backstretch, which is hard to do. Here he goes. Here he comes, Parker, down to turn one. And Justin Allgaier is going to get the lead. Can Cedric move the crossover? He can't do it. Justin Allgaier to the front of Mid Ohio. What a move. Oh, oh, he overdrives the corner. Here comes Cindric back, trying to take advantage of the mistake. Allgaier blocks and he keeps the spot. Now with a good run, here comes Austin Cindric back for the lead. Allgaier trying to break deep into the zone. Can he make it work? He'll have the advantage on the next corner if he keeps the spot. Yes. Well done by Justin Allgaier. But Cindric is there, and as you said, here comes Hamrick. Yeah, Hamrick's right there, and I think that was the one opportunity that Austin Cindric had to get back in front of Justin Allgaier. Not that he can hold him off anymore. Great battle down to the end. Three to go this next time by. Allgaier through the gearbox, on the gas, off the gas, on the brakes. Just a few corners remaining. The left-hander lifting that tire just a little bit off the ground. And now to the final slow corners. The carousel, turn 12. The left-hander, turn 13. Justin Allgaier is going to come from behind and win in Mid-Ohio. Awesome. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Great job there, Boogie. Really good job. Good job, guys, all day. Justin Allgaier needed a drink. I hear the air conditioning went out. He's ready to climb on the top and the side of this Brant Xfinity machine. Hop down and celebrate win number eight in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. That was an impressive drive. How's this rank among the other ones? Really, really high. Um, I just can't say thank you enough to Jason Brett and the boys. That call there at the end was what did it. Um, you know, Austin had the best car today, and I thought we gave it away there. We were out on the outside and got uh, pushed off the racetrack and was able to come back. But uh, just a testament to these guys at GMO Sports, everybody that's part of this great, uh, this, this awesome group. Um, I just can't thank all of our partners enough. Uh, obviously, GMO Sports, but Chevrolet, Brandt, Hellman's, Suave Men, uh, Briars, Degree, Axe, Doveman, Plus Care, Cessna, Exalta, Northeastern Supply, um, Canyon Bikes, AC Systems, Spy Glasses. I mean, there's just so many people that are part of this program. This guy right here, Rick Brandt, Sierra Brandt, uh, Christy Brandt, all the Brandt, the Brandt family, my, my wife and my daughter. Um, 
we've been good this year, and to do it on a road course is even better. So um, how about that? You know, hopefully Dale Jr. and the boys had a good time on the Xfinity Twitter <laughs> handle watching that one because it uh, I feel like it was a barn burner at the end. I think we entertain. You entertain. So you mentioned uh, one-off. You had a few excursions. First, when you were going four wide, and then you spun. Was there a point when you thought, all right, this is just not going to be our day today? Yeah, a, a lot, actually. <laughs> um, you know, I thought we gave it away there when I got off. And uh, then when we got turned around, I thought, man, we're really in trouble. Um, and, and, you know, the, the pit call there at the end, I was complaining on the radio, and Jason said, man, you're not good at, at, at pit strategy here. So uh, we came down, put four tires on, and obviously that was the, the call that, that did it for us. But, but, again, hats off to these guys. This series is so much fun right now. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to Bristol, but I'm really looking forward to Road America, too. Well done. Thank you. Justin Allgaier, win number three of the season and more playoff points for the young man that is second in the championship.